YouTube, I am back with another video. I'm going to show you my Blu-ray haul from the this uh, past week here. Uh, uh, I went to quite a bit of places and uh, I got some stuff at places and some I didn't get anything at all. So let me show you what I got. I got, first of all, I got Survival of the Dead. Uh, George A. Romero's Survival of the Dead. I did watch it. I do not think this one is that great. It's okay. But it's definitely one of the weaker ones, for sure. And and, and I find that kind of weird because Romero himself kind of said this is one of his, his favorite of the new trilogy, anyway. The newer trilogy that he did. And I watched it, and I just I can't really get into this one, you know. He said he likes Day of the Dead, which is, yeah, my favorite, too, of the original trilogy. Day of the Dead is his best one, in my opinion. But uh, Survival of the Dead, can't really get into this one, it's okay. There is a lot of good uh, special features on this I should just check out for the hell of it, um, just to watch them. Uh, not bad, I got it for 7 bucks at the Exchange. That's where I went, and I went in Sandusky, and I got this at the Exchange. Um, 7 bucks ain't bad, because it's probably going for a little bit more on eBay, even, used, so not bad. And then, also from the exchange, I got Motel Hell. Now, with the slip, it's a slip case, too, slip cover here. Screen Factory's Motel Hell. I didn't have this one, and I uh, can't say I'm the biggest fan of this movie, but it's definitely worth a watch. And, and it's got some good uh, special features on the back here. Uh, slip cases and this. I did pay 17 for it, which is probably. About what you know, new it probably goes for twenty seventeen used ain't bad, and I I figure what the hell support you know you kind of my somewhat local place around here and that was nice, and um, that's what I got at the exchange on last Sunday, and then I went to the the mall and the Best Buy there didn't really see anything to pick up anything else, and then on Tuesday it was a uh, new release Tuesday so I. Uh, I went to Best Buy, didn't find anything there really, it was kind of overpriced, and I noticed Target had, uh, in their, uh, cartwheel had 15% off a couple of movies that I did want, and one of them is Manchester by the Sea. I did watch this, I did find it to be really good, and sad, for sure, um, can't say I, I can't can't say I got emotional, but I did find it to be very sad and, and uh, very, it was very good. Uh, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely pretty good and it, and it definitely sad. Pretty good performance by Casey Affleck here. Sure, Michelle Williams is pretty good in it too. Some of the, some of the uh, cast, you know, these are, it's up for few Oscars, I can't remember which ones, but, um, yeah, definitely a pretty good movie, emotional, um, tearjerker, it can be, even though I didn't, I don't know what's up with that, but, it, this is pretty good, and, and definitely there was one messed up part in it, for sure, it's pretty messed up, but you could see why it did happen, um, so it's Manchester by the Sea, also at Target, I picked up Hacksaw Ridge, the steelbook. Um, awesome steelbook. I got both of these for $17 with the 15% off. Because what I like about Target, when they get their steelbook, they don't jack up the prices like Best Buy does. Like, oh, let's charge another 5 to $7 because we can because it's a steelbook. I think that's kind of horseshit. I, I do think it's cool that they have, you know, limited stuff at places, but jacking up the price five to seven dollars just because it's a steel book, I think it's horseshit. And Best Buy is definitely guilty of that. That's why I rather have Target get the steel book because if I want the steel book, Target, as far as I know, doesn't really jack up the price, or they didn't on this one anyway. It was nineteen ninety nine. Um, great movie. I I have seen this already. I, I haven't watched this yet. But I have seen it uh, in theaters, and it was really good. Uh, Mel Gibson, even though he's kind of, you know, Mel Gibson, um, 
very, very good movie. Andrew Garfield was awesome in this movie. Uh, I'm going to show you what the inside of the steelbook is. Look like, in case you're interested in picking it up, you can find it at Target still. Um, very cool, very cool inside. Very cool. Looks very nice. The back of it in the front. Very nice steelbook. It was uh, uh, definitely a nice pickup, but for sure. I can't wait to dip into the special uh, features because it's um, there's an hour there's an hour documentary on it. Um, I want to watch that. I hear Mel Gibson's in it. He's got a crazy ass beard and shit in it, so I can't wait to see that. Um, yeah, not bad. Seventeen bucks for both those at Target. And then Wednesday, I came home and I got um, still Alice. This was a uh, I got this free for having five Sony movies, and I haven't watched this yet, but I do want to watch this. Maybe I'll check it out tomorrow or whatever. Um, I hear it's a great movie. It's kind of about Julianne Moore uh, in the early onset of Alzheimer disease, and um, it's probably a pretty good movie, great cast, Baldwin, Julianne Moore, Kristen Stewart's in this, so I can't wait to check it out, I haven't even opened it yet, but yeah, I got this one, I got it absolutely free, so that's pretty awesome, don't get too much stuff absolutely free, even ship free, so that's awesome. Then, uh, uh, Thursday, me and Brandon hung out. Me and Brandon hung out and stuff. Uh, we went to Best Buy. We went to Replay. Didn't really find anything that I could uh, <clears throat> really get into or really really wanted to. And then Saturday today, I, I went to FYE in, in Monroe, Michigan and find Jack. And then I went to the other Replay. There's two Replays in my area. I went to the other Replay, and I did pick up a couple things. I got... Triple nine for five bucks, and it came with the digital copy, which I already use, and so that's really cool. Um, this is probably a mediocre, mo mediocre kind of movie, but I do want to check it out until it was only five bucks. You know, Casey Affleck's in it, and Aaron Paul, and Norman Reedus, so I think it's worth five bucks at least to check out. I mean, it can't be, I don't think it can be that bad. Woody Harrelson's also in this, too. So I got this for five bucks, and I don't think he can beat that. And I did get one more at Replayer. I got a double feature, fourteen oh eight, and and the Miss, both Stephen King stories. I have seen both these. Both are really great movies. I like the Miss better. It's kind of dark, even darker than I think what fourteen oh eight is. But. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to check these out again because it's been a little while since I've seen both of these. So, good pickup. Got this for 7 bucks. Not bad. Um, a real good double feature, I believe, for 7 bucks, Used even. So, I, uh, good, I think that's a good pickup for sure. I also crossed over 700 Blu-rays. That's awesome. I, I can't believe I have that many. I continue to get more and more, you know. Um, it'll be weird because, you know, maybe in a year's time I'll probably finally upgrade to 4K, so we'll see where that kind of goes. But, um, that's all the Blu-rays I got. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos. Alright, well, I'll see you later.